everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And I am bringing to you in this video my favorite recipe on guacamole with a twist. Yes, guacamole with a twist this time, you guys. So stay tuned and listen for more. So I've become so fond of guacamole nowadays because guacamole actually gives me that desired, you know, recipe for a chip and dip because I love chip and dip snacks nowadays. You know, when I'm watching my series or my movies, it's a simple snack for the day. So I have here laid out my ingredients. Actually, as you can see on this table, I have various ingredients which I've actually had already prepared, sort of, most of them at least. So I have here, um, yeah, the following ingredients. I have here chopped tomatoes. This is uh, from a semi-ripe tomato, so it doesn't have to be very ripe, you guys, because it can be very cumbersome to even just cut up like this. I have here two lemons, uh, of which I'll extract the juices from. I have here one whole avocado, very big avocado. Actually, it's ripe, so I actually opened it up and, you know, I'm going to remove the seeds soon. I have here salt and pepper to taste. I have garlic and chopped red onions. Now, the twist here, as you can see, is uh, very well-roasted peanuts, or is it ground nuts? Others will know them as peanuts. So that's my twist for the recipe. So, yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned for more. Okay, my chefs, you're going to throw in all those ingredients into one mixing bowl, which you're very much comfortable with, and you just have to make sure you're, you're, you're actually giving enough room for mixing. Get a fork as opposed to using a spoon or a wooden spoon because you do not want to actually completely mash up all that avocado. You want to actually attain a very chunky consistency such as the one you can see in the picture here. I've noticed that the groundnuts or is it the roasted peanuts have added to that extra chunky look which I love love love. Taste, seasoning and make sure it is just right because mm, guys this is so delish. Get uh, storage containers as for me I actually do use mayonnaise bottles I don't throw them away so I got this little mayonnaise bottle and made sure I stored my guacamole in it. It's airtight so at least it can last for more than three days. Yeah, there we have it. I have displayed all my chips and the dip is ready and I'm going to watch my series episode after episode with a snack. Yes, and this is worth the try. There I am trying to devour into this deliciousness. Guys, guacamole is worth the try. You can add your own twist. Thank you so much for watching. Bon appetit, food lovers. Bon appetit. For now, it's goodbye. Until next time. <laughs>